Hi everyone, I'm Kim, a content writer for the UWorld College Readiness Team. Today, I want to help you with a problem that you'll find in the reading section of the SAT exam, paired questions. This type of question often trips students up on the exam, so let's look at the best way to approach a paired question. All right, so we're going to do these paired questions. So it's question four and question five. As you can see, question four asks what can most reasonably be inferred, and question five asks which choice provides the best evidence for the answer to the previous question. Well, the best way to approach these two questions is to look at the second question first. As you can see, there are four lines of evidence here. So you know that the answer to question four is going to be found in one of these four lines. So, question four. It can most reasonably be inferred from the passage that old widow Lau's reluctance to stay for tea is... Well, let's look at the lines, lines one through four from at last through first. Okay, so that talks about old widow Lau arriving and the father didn't see us at first. So that has nothing to do with T. So that would not be good evidence. Second one is lines 11 through 15 and he to customers. So this discusses little uncle apologizing and then rushing to seat them at one of the two tea tables for customers. So we're getting closer, but that still doesn't talk about um, her reluctance to stay for tea. So lines 15 through 18, old through leave. Okay, so that sounds like she's only pretending that she wants to leave. Let's see, uh, C might be a, a possibility here. But let's go and look at the last line of evidence, uh, lines 19 through 21, then to ourselves. Okay, so that's him bringing the tea and fans. So that's not about Widow Lau, her reluctance to stay for tea. So only lines 15 through 18 discuss her reluctance to stay for tea, and it seems like she's pretending. So let's look at the previous answer choices. A says her reluctance is feigned, which means pretended, because she is not genuinely firm in her resolve. That's a good possibility. Inconsiderate, because the family has been planning her visit. None of the evidence says that. Her reluctance to stay is appropriate, because the shop is unusually busy. Well, we don't have any evidence that says that. And her reluctance is ill-advised because she's exhausted from the journey. We don't have any evidence that says that. So, based on the evidence from question five, the answer to question four is A, and the answer to question five is C, lines 15 through 18, which is where we found the evidence. And in this way, you can use the evidence from the second of the paired questions to find the correct answer to both questions. Well, I hope this has been helpful information. If it has, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Remember, your dream school requires a dream score, so keep studying and prepping with UWorld. Your hard work is going to pay off. See you next time.